in bid to meet its target of vaccinating 1.5 million citizens against COVID-19 before the end of the year. The FCT Primary Healthcare Board is reaching out to all communities, including the network of people living with HIV-AIDS in Nigeria, to make sure that the target is achieved. The Secretary, FCT Health and Human Services Secretariat, Dr. Abubakar Tafida, represented by the Acting Executive Secretary, FCT Primary Health Care Board, Dr. Ndayeo Iwat, encouraged members of the network of people living with HIV-AIDS in Nigeria to get vaccinated as they already have a comorbidity which compromises their system. Many of those things that we are, when we are giving other vaccines, we are saying, don't, don't take. If you have heart failure, don't take. If you have cancer, don't take. They are even the ones that we are looking for now. Those are the ones that should take it. HIV AIDS is an autoimmune deficiency syndrome, reducing your immunity, making you to be vulnerable to all sorts of infections, particularly those ones that have not been able to cause infection when your immunity is not good. So that one, if you should have the, the virus, you are more likely to have serious disease and die from, from it that somebody doesn't have. He said the issue of vaccine hesitancy comes from statistics recorded from other countries, noting that from statistics recorded in the FCT, no adverse effect has been recorded so far from people that have been vaccinated. He also reiterated that the vaccine is not God, but only helps in boosting the body's immunity. Nobody is telling you that the vaccine is God, is giving you life. No vaccine has ever been God. They are not over-the-counter drugs, but they give you advantage over those that are not taken. The COVID-19 focal representative of the Institute of Human Virology, Dr. Adeyemo Adeyemi, said even though there is no record of any HIV patient that has contracted COVID-19 in the FCT, it is very important that they get vaccinated in order to be protected against the severity of COVID-19. Because people living with HIV and AIDS, um, as a result of that condition, their immunity is um, a bit compromised, so they are more exposed to various diseases, including um, the COVID-19 virus, uh, which is why we are holding events like this for sensitization um, to get, especially people living with HIV and AIDS, to go get the vaccines so that they are protected um, against the severe severity of the COVID-19 virus. During the sensitization, patients were enlightened on myths surrounding the vaccine, some of which are antiretroviral medications do not prevent people living with HIV AIDS from contracting COVID-19 and neither is there any pharmacological interaction between the COVID-19 vaccine and antiretroviral medications which may hinder them from taking the vaccine. Lois, Appasambu, Aso Television News.